Welcome. In this video, we will demonstrate admit order cosign for providers who do not have admit privileges. If as a provider you do not have admit privileges, you will be required to enter a cosigner. On the admit to inpatient order, this is part of the Center for Medicare and Medicaid requirements. In addition, you will notice on the admit to inpatient order detail screen a change to the responses for the expected admission length of stay as displayed here. From the Admit to Inpatient Order Detail screen, because the doctor that we are highlighting in this demo does not have access to Admit to Inpatient, an admission cosigner will display as a required field. Please note, if you do have admission privileges, you will not see Admission Order Cosigner. To complete the cosigner, click on the drop down arrow. This lookup displays providers who have admit privileges. Begin typing in the last name of the provider. Click on the provider to choose. You will see your admission order cosigner now display. Complete the remaining required fields. The level of care is a required field. Click on the downward facing arrow to complete. Please note, the choices displayed here are dependent upon your specific site. Depending on the level of care that you choose, the expected length of stay may be required. If it is required and you attempt to move from the expected length of stay, you will see a message stating this is a required field. To complete the expected length of stay, click on the downward facing arrow and choose the expected length of stay. The choices here have been changed from the previous choices. Complete the remaining required fields. In addition, when you scroll down, you will see an attestation at the bottom of the screen, including the required CMS regulatory language. When done, click OK. You will now see the Admit to Inpatient Order. Click Save, enter your PIN, and click Enter. The admission order will queue for electronic signature to the provider listed in the cosign field. In our example for this patient, you will see that there is a note for the provider stating signature necessary for admission order. If the cosigner has not signed off on the admit order from the discharge routine, a note will display that the patient has unsigned admission orders. In order to see who was entered as the cosigner so this provider can be contacted, click on Orders. Highlight the admit order and click View. You will see who was entered as the cosigner. This provider needs to be contacted to cosign the admit order before discharge. When the cosigning physician has signed the admit order upon discharge, the message of patient has unsigned admission orders will no longer display. This concludes the video on admit order cosign for providers who do not have admit privileges. Thank you.